today we will see how to find compound interest when interest rate is different for successive years here is the question calculate the amount and the compound interest so we have to calculate the amount and the compound interest on rupees 20,000 for three years when the rates of interest for successive years that means year one year two and year three is different it's not same six percent eight percent and ten percent respectively let's see how to solve this question for first year the principal is rupees twenty thousand and we take time as one year because we are finding the interest for every individual year and the rate is six percent as given in the question right because there are different r rates for successive years we have to find interest the formula is principal into time into rate by hundred we just replace the values 20,000 into 1 into 6 percent per annum by 100 when you solve it further and when you simplify it you will get the answer as rupees 1200 rupees 1200 so this rupees 1200 is the interest for first year what is the next step the next step is to find the amount and the formula to find amount is principal plus interest okay now this principle will be the initial principle that is given in the question so we'll just replace the values in the formula principal is rupees 20,000 That is given in the question and when you add this you will get the amount as 21,200 rupees so this is your amount for or at the end of first year rupees 21,200 what is our next step our next step is to find the interest for second year now if you remember the principal would be the amount of the previous year that's why the principal for the second year is rupees 21,200 time one year and rate eight percent as given in the question okay the rate is eight percent for the second year therefore interest will be use the formula and replace the values principal is 21,200 time one year because we're finding for individual year second year and rate for the second year is eight percent by hundred principal into time into rate by hundred so when you solve it further when you simplify it you will get you will get the answer as rupees 1696 so this is the interest for second year 1696 our next step is to find the amount and the formula to find amount is principal plus interest we'll just replace the values principal for the second year is rupees 21,200 plus the interest right interest for the second year interest for the second year we have calculated it as rupees 1696 we just add this up and you have the amount for the end of the second year amount at the end of the second year so when you add this to principal and interest 
we will get the amount at the end of year as rupees 22,896. 22,896 is the amount at the end of the second year. Now we have to find the amount at the end of third year. To find amount we need to have interest. We need to find interest. Right? Now principal of third year is the amount at the end of second year. That's why the principal here is 22,896 time one year rate as given in the question 10% for third year. We just replace the values. The formula to find interest is PTR by 100. Your P principal is 22,896 into 1 into 10 by 100. When you solve this, I hope you're doing it as you're watching this video. As I'm teaching you, I hope you're doing it by yourself too. So when we calculate this, the interest that we get for third year is rupees 2289 and 60 paise. 2289 and 60 paise. We have to find the amount at the end of third year. The formula to find amount at the end of third year is principal plus interest. We just replace the values, right? Principal is how much? Principal for the third year is rupees 2289 so we'll just add this up principal plus interest the principal for third year is 22896 plus the interest that we just found a while ago 2289 point Now when we add these two values of principal and interest, we will get the amount as 25,185 and 60 paise. So this is the amount at the end of third year, rupees 25,185 and 60 paise. So we have found the amount for all the three years, right? Now, what do we have to find? We have to find the compound interest. And what is the formula to find compound interest? Amount minus principal. Amount minus principal. Right? Amount at the end of the third year is 25,185 and 60 paise minus which principle are we going to take here? We have to take the initial principle, right? The principle that we had the first year. That is why we have written there 20,000 as the principle. Now, when you subtract these two, we will get the compound interest as rupees 5185 and 60 paise 5185 and 60 paise is the compound interest right i hope you have understood it you can just go back and see again and again and also do it in your notebook and keep practicing that is what I encourage and I tell every time keep practicing you can see there's a homework that I have given you calculate both the amount and the compound interest on rupees 10,000 for three years with the rates of interest for successive years are four percent six percent and eight percent respectively